Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Was there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. That's why I need you by my side. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to keep me in check. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you haven't seen me behind closed doors. Joking aside, oh, you've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, oh, I'll never understand. You're absolutely right. They do. Oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um... Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long.
class one. an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a dick. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Ex-military, eh? Okay, soldier. Then give me one reason I shouldn't have both of you brought up on charges for insubordination. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I see. The fact that you'd risk your own lives to solve this mystery speaks volumes. They were my responsibility, Admiral. One way or another, I intend to bring them home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to your slates. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia.
require my assistance. Captain, hello, farewell. Yeah, it feels like walking into a dream. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew, okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Yes, exactly. Since most of my gear was destroyed, I depended on those landmarks to orient myself while I was stranded. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? Huh. I wish. I was so uncomfortable. I would have settled for a pile of straw. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. That's an excellent point. I hadn't taken degradation into account. I'm glad I brought you along. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing.
this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Yeah, I, I suppose you're right. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going.
This is what's left of the cruise shuttle. But it looks like the Earth were scavenged and drowned somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go! Yeah, sure. Try and trick me. No. No way. I I'm not getting fooled again. Forget it. Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I... I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you. And we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here? Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents? Your mom and your dad? What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberst. You're the head... Daughter, listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona? What a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. You. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Am I? I feel like a nervous wreck. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags.
Precisely. That also means you understand the importance of bringing them back to Jemison. Just please, be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory.
Sona, calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? I knew I could depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this poor girl that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just... I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Why won't Sarah listen to me? I've been alone for a long time, and even when bad people visit, I've been safe. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Well, I've always dreamed of finding a place that's safe from the monsters, but uh, leaving mom and dad behind. It's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. Yeah, you're right. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get... Well, wherever we're going. That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. I realize that, but there's still cause for concern. We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the Overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Before we head back to the ship, 
I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. Oh yes, absolutely. And it's all thanks to you. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes. Wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. <laughs> Are you sure? I could swear I see some red on those cheeks. <sighs> well, I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. While we're here, let's swing by Centaurian so I can pick up some ammo. Here on Vanguard business? days of inflicting death are over, and we have you to thank for it. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? And it's my duty to report that we found someone there alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? How dare you say that to me? Thousands died because they believed in the ideals set forth by the United Colonies. I know because I've signed each and every one of their death notices. So don't tell me I've dishonored anyone's memory. Because I mourn those thousands every day of my life. We aren't doubting your integrity, Admiral. We are simply expressing our regrets at how this situation was resolved. You're absolutely right, Sarah. This situation was handled poorly. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge.
can't think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. We should probably talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the Lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Sarah gave me directions. She's really good at that. Riding that gnat thing was super cool. It was like magic or something. Like something from the stories mom used to read. But the hardest part was having everyone staring at me. All these people in one place, it's kind of scaring me. I don't know why. <laughs> they sure won't. They have to catch me first. It's true. You're one of the toughest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillion here, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish. This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait... Do I get my own ship? <laughs> well, uh, Auntie Sarah can't exactly afford that right now, but she can provide you with the best exploration training in the galaxy. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen? Look at this. 
all these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. I know, things probably would have gone a lot smoother if I'd just listened to you in the first place. Which is why we really need to talk about our friendship and how I've been treating you. Just let me have another moment here and then we can head over to the waterfall so we can talk in private. Let's go. It's not much further. I think you'll want to hear what I have to say after we arrive at the waterfall. It's not much further. If you'll just bear with me, I promise I'll explain everything. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. 
You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. No, not at all. Just let me get all of this out. I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Maybe. But for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. I suppose. Well, if that's true, this challenge is wearing me down. Finding someone like that would be wonderful. Wait a second. What exactly are you saying? Ha! Huh. <sighs> Sorry, I am. Um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. When things at the lodge are too much. The spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. you can harass right now. Have you lost your mind? Is there even a mind to lose? Do you even understand what you have done? Did we not agree that what we have is something special, unique, that it would stay between us, that our hearts belong to one another and no one else Perhaps you can be comfortable with it, but I made it completely clear to you that this is unacceptable. What is there to say? What? N no, that is not true. 
I am still listening. I am going to do my best to get past this and continue our journey together. Then you should turn around and walk away. It would do you well to reflect on how you arrived here and what you want from your future. I know I shall be doing the same. Hello, love. <laughs> I know that tone. Very well. What is it? Thank you, dearest. You are not so bad yourself. You will think of me. You need something, dearest? Do you want to hear me say that you make me deliriously happy? Because you do. Then I shall be sure and tell you more often, darling. that you always know exactly what to say. Good one, Cora. <laughs> hey, next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. Meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Good. Anytime you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. <laughs> <laughs> 